Hello, hi, what's up? So I ordered myself an audio interface and I just thought I'd film the opening and setup of it. So I have it here. I decided to rent one instead of buy one because audio interfaces are expensive and I probably will buy one one day, but I would prefer to rent it until I know that I like it. So if I don't like this one, I can send it back and then rent another one until I find one that I do like, and then I'll be willing to commit and purchase to own it. So we've got a cable here to get to the USB. We've got the, I think this is called the XLR cable. Probably not. Very therapeutic stuff. Okay, next. Ooh, I think this is the actual mic. Ooh, look at it. Cool. I'm excited. And I like a little pouch. I'm just gonna put it back in there. Keep it safe and protected because of course I'm renting. The one over in the hand. Earphones, also the, the pre-sonus brand. Got the earphones here. And the plug, there's a plug. And lastly, the final thing is the actual audio interface, which is here. So it's called the PreSonus Audio Box I2. Let me see how that is. So let's see how we go with it. Um, we got the cables here. So yeah, let's test it out. I'm going to start trying to set it up with the laptop that I have. In terms of software, I have Audacity, which is free. This plug goes into the power. Um, in the back, that one. So let's just do that. And then the other side, the USB side, will go into the laptop, of course. Let's do the mic. Okay. All right. So from the looks of it, this one will be going with uh, this end. So let's just click. Love that sound. Satisfying stuff. And then the other end will go into either of these two is my guess, so let's just do that. Okay. Lastly, in this setup, uh, we'll connect the earphones to the interface. The earphones that came with it are gonna connect in here. There's even like a little, you can see it, little picture of a, picture of a um, earphone and the volume control. That's how loud I guess I'll be able to hear myself. So I figured out how to screen record. So I will be showing you my Audacity screen as well. So I've opened up Audacity and I'm going to plug the USB cable into the computer, which turns the interface on. Everything lights up basically. First thing I'm going to do is have a like look at the drop down of the microphone options. And as we can see, it's not there. Uh, and that's because we opened up Audacity before we plugged in the microphone, so I'll need to close the program and open it up again so we can recognize it. So I'm going to just do that. Close and then open. So now if you look at the microphone options, we'll see that the line pre Sonus audio box is actually there as a microphone of choice. So I'm going to select that. I'll also make the speakers, the, the earphones that I've connected to the interface. So I'm just going to pop that on. Uh, and I also kind of learned that it wasn't working super well unless I turned on the 48 volt button. Probably because it's supposed to be on, I guess. But I switched that on now and I've got the mic here. So I'm just going to test it out. First, I will leave the whole, leave the setup in mono um, and just see what that sounds like. Testing one, two, three. And then I'll play that back. Testing, one, two, three. I'm now gonna change it to stereo and record that. Testing, one, two, three. And we'll play that back. Testing, one, two, three. So I'm not too sure why, but I can only hear it in one earphone. 
So apparently that's normal. The Solo is a mono device and it's designed to record into a mono one blue wave performance. If you force it into a stereo show, your voice will appear on the left. Oh, maybe that's the case with the PreSonus. I'm now gonna show you how I'm going to adjust the volume so it's a bit louder with the Amplify. Okay. okay, so if I play it now. Testing, one, two, three. Yeah, it's a bit louder. Another effect that I can do is um, for when I sing and stuff is reverb. They have options here where you can go factory presets. Preset chosen, might be of a large room. Testing, one, two, three. Yeah, so that, that changes it. Yeah, those are just some little, uh, basically like a small little setup situation. And I suppose that this audio box i2 PreSonus is made for mono recording and not stereo, unless I need to do something extra to make it stereo. But it works as mono at the moment, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. But anyway, I hope this was helpful. I mean, if you found it helpful, please press like and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, yeah, okay, bye.